All right, guys, so since I have a little extra time today at work, uh, since no one's actually here at 2201 Main Street, I guess I'll show you guys uh, what you can rent. So this van right here will be for $19.95, same as the pickup truck. They all have fairly low miles on them, actually very low. Um, if you do ever want to rent one of these after hours, the keys will always be underneath the driver's seat. Go ahead and start her up. It'll run perfectly fine. There we got radio, all the radios. Very nice. We got the uh, haul button. If you're hauling a trailer or heavy weight, push that. Here's the traction control button. Turns traction control off if you hold it. The stability track comes off as well, just like that. Other than that, there's not much to this truck. The keys back here. I'll show you guys the back. It's a fairly big. Uh, so we got these wooden boards right here. You can strap across. Uh, looks like someone actually left a bungee cord in here, so you kind of just strap it like that, go across, whatnot. So, fairly good amount of space in there for $19.95, plus gas and mileage and insurance optional. Here's another door right here. Very good room. Plenty of spaces. Uh, do not exceed. 3,200 pounds. Other than that, that's about it. You can also look up the dimensions of everything on the website. So next up is our 10 foot truck, which is also 1995. And we'll check this one out. This is supposed to be up here. So once again, the keys will be underneath the seat of every truck in the front row. Give her a start up. Starts up perfectly fine. Got a fuel economy gauge right here. These usually have a little more miles on them since they're fairly, they're used quite more than uh, the cargo vans and whatnot. Heat, air conditioning. Stereo once again. We've got the hall button, automatic lights, dome light. If you turn this on, the light in the back of the truck turns on. Other than that, we also got traction control. Push it once, traction control comes off, push it twice, stability control. Turn that off. Put the keys back underneath there. And uh, all of these vehicles actually take unleaded only so that's one more thing open her up here's all your space so here's all the the boards once again that you could strap to there is our dome light for at night you push that button that I was talking about that light turns on so you got some more light in here there's kind of some directions that kind of got all scraped up and whatnot. Yeah, other than that, there's the 10 foot truck. Next up would be the 10 foot one ways, since I basically already showed you the whole truck. I'm not going to show you guys that since it's basically the same exact thing. Well, actually, it is the same exact thing. Just different locations. Here's the 15 foot truck. Uh, these are a little different, less techy stuff. Uh, the radio isn't as good. Start her up. Got quite quite a bigger engine in here as well. Uh, the miles are once again going to be higher than the 10 foot and the pickup trucks and cargo vans. Uh, once again, we got the haul button right here air conditioning and heat nothing other than that we got lights blinkers brights everything a regular car has um, they're fairly nice so they got quite a big engine in them turn her off 
keys back underneath once again. Unleaded fuel only. All right, so our DCs, which are the 15 foot trucks, come with a utility dolly and furniture pads, six furniture pads in here. Uh, in order to use them, you break this little seal right here, and that's when we charge you. If the seal is broken, charge you 10 bucks for the furniture pads, and 10 bucks, or seven dollars, my bad, for the utility dolly. So once you break that zip tie right there, that's when we know that you used it, and we will charge you. So here's the mother's deck on the 15 foot truck. Um, I'd say probably about two feet, maybe two and a half. Um, then we got the dome light in here, which is actually on right now. And then once again, the side rails to hook straps up to. Other than that, that's it for that truck. another 15 foot trucks one ways and then this would be our 17 foot truck basically the same exact thing as the 15 foot truck a little fancier gauges uh, same console basically everything the stereo is just about the same as uh, the 15 foot trucks a little different cubby holes on the siding So basically the same amount of room and space as the 15 foot truck, except for you got uh, two more feet. I'm actually gonna check if there's any customers here right now since uh, I'm actually currently working. I'm actually supposed to be in the store, you know, waiting for phone calls, stuff like that. But since no one's here and it's a very nice day, uh, those aren't customers from here. It's a very nice day out. I figured I'd make a video and I can't figure out what to make a video other than this so Here would be The 20 foot truck Basically the same interior as always Keys underneath And then we got a 20 foot truck right here. Basically plain and simple, these don't have uh, dolly and furniture pads like the 15 foot truck does. Then we got the 26 foot trucks. These are equipped with V10s. The 22 foot truck comes with a V8 as well as the 15 foot truck, 10 foot truck, cargo van and pickup truck they all have v8s this has a v10 very very powerful truck it's got quite a different uh dash setup stereos also not as good um you know not quite as much luxury dash is quite nicer actually uh, i actually like the style of these better you got more gauges and whatnot telling you all the good stuff you need to know We've got regular lights not automatic Whatnot then we got these rolling Old-fashioned windows that would be a downside to these uh, the cargo vans and pickup trucks have Powered windows unlike this one uh, This also has a, a bar, you know for the passenger to hold on since it is sometimes a bumpy ride we'll go ahead and give this one a start up for you guys since this one has a different engine dropping the keys what the hell I guess someone put the wrong key in here 6440 what it's the right key but it won't turn huh all right, so my phone actually ran out of memory. 
Uh, I don't know where I left off when it died, but I was just going to show you guys what the 26 foot truck sounds like. It's got a V10. Lots of power, so gets the job done right. Put the keys back down here. I'll show you what these guys look like in the back. Very big. Uh, the only downside would be these wheel wells. Um, probably about four or five inches coming off the ground. Very much room though. This mother's deck is actually probably three feet instead of the two feet in the 15 foot truck. Looks quite a lot bigger. Uh, I got mounts for up, up here on the mother's deck. There is our dome light. And there's our 26 foot truck right there. It's basically it. Moving pads, dolly, lots of room. Get the move done quick and easy. And then this is what the nicer 26 foot trucks look like. Super duties. Uh, these, I'm not sure if they have more power or whatnot, but it is a F650. Better door handles, you know, a little fancier. Get the nice steering wheel and a very nice dash, as well as a better stereo. More room in here. I don't know how that came down, to be honest with you. Oh, there's a button right here. Pushing, I guess. And then you got this cubby hole. Put that back up. Nice cup holder. Oh, it looks like someone left a pack of cigarettes in here. <laughs> someone didn't clean it out right here is the dome light. What not. Fairly simple. Very easy. Well, I'm gonna get back to doing what I'm supposed to be doing and uh, go back into the store and answer questions. So just like I su suspected, nobody is here. And I got six missed calls. Great. Gives me something to do, you know. There's really nothing to do here. You know, normally it's busier than hell and uh, I get no time to do anything. But right now, it's been almost a full hour with no customers at all. Give you guys a little run around of all the stuff we got. Just in case uh, maybe you need something from U-Haul, don't want to come into the store, kind of want to see what you got first, or what you need, I mean. You got bubble wrap. These bubble wraps are 405. We got packing beads. These are used quite often. Then we got the furniture pads. These are $7.95 each. Um, rather than to rent them out, uh, you can rent them out for 10 bucks, or you can buy one, just one, for $7.95. Then we got paper pads, um, basically just wrapping stuff with. Uh, we got another furniture pad. These are more of a quality furniture pad for $15. And we got over here foam pouches for dishes and stuff like that. Glass dishes. dishes. And uh, then we got cell kit. Those are for um, like wine glasses, stuff like that. We got more wrapping paper. Here's a big box as well as a small box. That is $5.95. $9.95. Basically the same thing. One's just got double dish saver kit, glass pack kit. Then we move over here are all the kit options. And then we got wardrobes. We got shorty wardrobe, grand wardrobe, and the regular wardrobe. And all the dimensions are right there. 
And then they, these are the ones that are already put together with the bar. They cost more, which is quite stupid to me when all you got to do is fold the box up and put this bar in for a whole other dollar less, you know? I don't know. And then we got utility sport, lamp, electronics, medium electronics, small electronics, large music, large mirror picture box, mirror picture box, four piece mirror picture box, and a book box. Here are the book boxes. All the boxes, you know, I'm sick of looking at boxes. Uh, so here's all of our hitch stuff. Towing starter kit, right down there. $25, very nice price. Um, then we got balls, we got two and five sixteenths ball. Oh, we got a customer returning. All right, so the customer just needed to return a couple things. Also, you guys are interested in a bike. We got a U-Haul bike right here, blue tires, green frame. <laughs> we also got a bike rack, a couple different bike racks. Furniture pads that we can rent. Here are all the boxes that we sell all put together. We got book box, small box, large box, small electronics, medium box, extra large. Here's the mirror boxes as well as our wardrobe boxes with the bar in the middle right there. Dish barrel box. Other than that, got a bunch of electronic stuff. I uh, got hitch pins, you know, hitch covers. <laughs> if you like the Packers. I uh, got hitch pin locks. Oh, that's not locked down there. <laughs> Tow mirrors, bike racks, straps, uh, adapters, seven way to four way, all sorts of stuff. And then we got brake controller stuff, coupler locks, trailer couplers, taillights. There's the brake controllers that we sell. And then we got an old fancy <laughs> trailer hitch plug. Other than that, that's basically it. Gloves, wires, rope, tie down rope locks, bungee cords. And then there's these things that no one ever buys. And we got a phone call. East Town U-Haul, this is Kale speaking. How may I help you? Sir, um, I would like to know, first of all, how small of a unit do you have? Uh, the smallest unit that we have here would be a 5x5. Five What would be the next size? Uh, be a 5x10, next size would be a 10x10, 10 10, and then 10x15s. Uh, the 5x5 five five would be... What was that? Well, I was going to say, the second one that you mentioned, 5x10, 5x10, what is the size of 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 the for our five by five units. Five feet by five feet by five feet. Not very tall. No. It's kind of like this one. You can barely even walk in the things. So, those ones are $59.95. And then these ones are $64.95 since they are 10 feet tall, or 9 feet tall instead. So this right here would be a 5x5. Five five. This right here would be a 5x10, which would be $94.95. And then we got the 10x10, ten ten, which would be this line over. That is the 10x10. Ten ten. 
and then the 10 by 15 would be 144.95 and that is the whole unit right here so all the things that you can fit inside as well as our benefits so we got electric controlled access individual alarm 24-hour video monitoring all that good stuff we also have a drive-in loading and unloading heated and air conditioned yeah, basically sums it up, guys. Look inside. I looked inside and I didn't see much there. <laughs> then we got bundles of boxes as well. Uh, if you buy the bundle, it's actually cheaper than buying single boxes, as well as we buy back any boxes you don't use. So when you buy the bundle, if you actually didn't use the whole bundle, you would get more money than what you paid back. So, it doesn't make any sense to me, but it's how it works. So, that's what I advise everyone else. Can I help you with anything else? No.